Yes, sir. Chase the Great back with another one. All right, man. So salute to the elder first and foremost, man, for, you know, just inspiring this one, man. Uh, I'm going to say it is what it is. I'm wishing you all the best, but uh, you just inspired me to make this, and so I'm going to continue with it, man. Uh, guys, there's a lot of us wasting time out here, man. You know, idle time is, will definitely leave you to teary eyes in the future. Um, I spoke to this elder man, and, uh, you know, he didn't have the mistake that a lot of people have, the normal one at least, with, uh, you know, getting married and divorce rape or just being lazy and not, you know, doing what he need to do. Nothing like that, man. He told me that... Uh, Basically, he was, he had business partners. The business went sour. Um, they stole from him. Even after suing, it was, you know, basically to no avail, man. He got nothing in return. Uh, unfortunately, it happened later on in life. It was too late, he said, according to him, for him to continue or pursue, uh, you know, greatness. Because he started to get sick, et cetera, et cetera. Um, 65 years old now. And living in low-income housing. Uh, collecting Social Security. But according to him, bro, the Social Security is, of course, not enough to help him get by. Or let me get this right. Let me say this right. Social Security is just enough for him to pay his rent. The problem is it's not enough for him to do anything else. Now, here lies the deeper problem. He wants to work more. He doesn't mind working more. But if he works more, boom, he's kicked out of the low housing because he, he won't qualify anymore because he makes too much income. Basically, he's stuck in between a rock and a hard place. Damn, man, um... Him and I was talking, bro, was down there teary-eyed, but he just told me to, you know, be smart. And, um, you know, we just got real in-depth, man. And I just wanted to relay the message to y'all, man, to the millennials, to, to my group. Guys, I see a lot of folks out here, man, just chilling, doing the same old routines, smoking, drinking. Um, some people doing the eight hours and they done for the day. Some people doing no hours and they partying for the day. Um, <laughs> guys, we got more good days behind us than we got ahead of us. We have to realize that, man. Time is merciless. Don't care about your age, gender, uh, who your father was, how rich they were or not. Time is merciless. Um... We got to handle business, guys. It don't make no sense if you're 35 and up, man, for you to just be... If you're not making at least 10 gross a month, and I would say even with that 10 gross, hopefully your bills ain't matching that 10 gross. But, I mean, if you're not making at least 10 gross a month, man, what's your plan? How you plan to get by? Because I remember one thing that he said. Is only getting more expensive as time goes on, as time rolls by. You know, he spoke to me on how he was able to buy homes uh, and, you know, on Andrews and to buy homes and plantation for dirt cheap. You know what I mean? Um, he's seen, you know, Broward County grow from where it was to what it is now. And he can't believe the development. He's, he's he's amazed and happy for it, but he just is saying, like, bro, secure your life now. Make sure you handle your business now because it's only going to get more expensive. It's only going to get worse. Doesn't get better. Guys, not only do we need to watch our idle time and make sure we add, uh, make sure we handling business with that, but you got to watch the people you add into your life whether it be friends or relationships, man. Anything that's not bettering you and trying to elevate you and get better into the next, you know, tier in life, 
you know, it's a waste of time. Why are we wasting time? Why would you want to waste time? <laughs> uh, man, this thing is definitely like Bob said, man, a concrete jungle. We live in a concrete jungle. Time is merciless or merciless. Like it doesn't care. And if we don't act and do what we need to do, man, handle business, <laughs> uh, man, a lot of us going to be teary eyed later on. A lot of us going to be asking why me later on. You know what I mean? The 401ks ain't going to be enough. Uh, we got to realize this too, man. Uh, you know, you can have it all good now. Everything could be good now. But shit, none of us know the future, right? You don't know what uh, uh, sicknesses you have. Like, you know, for instance, let's say even for my plan of not retiring in this country and retiring elsewhere. Well, I could that could be my plan and that's what I want and that's that's my dream, that's my vision, but you know, I can't control I can eat well, I can work out, but I still can't control certain diseases, ailments, or sicknesses. If it happens, I can't control a freak accident. And if that happens, right? So man, life, life, life. Roll of a dice, right? Like you never know what you're gonna get. And um it's all about being prepared and it's all about being financially prepared. You know, even if I want to go, you know, if anybody wants to go do it at a cheaper rate elsewhere, it still might cost you. So still got to be smart, still got to plan out. And <clears throat> man, I mean, if you're not using idle time to, you know, just take a breather from grinding, I mean, what are you, what are you doing? You know, <laughs> these things are passing us by. Uh, you know, uh, what? How many good summers we got left? You know, how many weeks they said is a lifetime? Four thousand some. Like, how many of those do we got left? You know what I mean? So let's stay on our ground, millennials. Everybody else behind us, stay on y'all grind. Hopefully y'all get this message. Um, everybody else ahead of us, man, um, you know, just keep grinding and, you know, keep your head up. Stay, keep your head high, you know, because it's only going to get rough and y'all damn near already there. You know what I mean? Uh, we right behind you and we got to handle business, man, and. That's why I'm talking to the millennials right now, man. So let's enjoy the rest of our youth, but let's freaking prepare, man. All right? Shakes the Great, signing out.